Here it is Saturday, the day before the Lord's Day. <clears throat> Please know this message comes with an open invitation to come and worship with us in the East tomorrow. Maybe you don't have a place to worship. I invite you right now to come worship with us. Maybe you have been thinking about and praying about finding a church family. We would be glad to have you visit us and would open up our arms wide to you. So please come and worship with us. I'm going to start out today with Psalms 13.5. But I have trusted in thy loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. Most of us will at different times in our life have doubts about our salvation. And most of the time is when we are not holding up our end of the relationship with God. The reason most Christians doubt their salvation is because they have not sought God out and they haven't kept a relationship with him. The hardest thing in the world is to lose your relationship with God for years and years and years. You don't lose your salvation, but you lose your relationship. And then try to jump back into the relationship with him. With all the things you've done and all the guilt and all the baggage that you bring, sometimes it's a very difficult thing to get back where you need to be in your relationship with God. I can remember as a young teen, I was all kinds of up and down about life, and that spilled over into my salvation. One night, I was walking my dog and stopped under a streetlight and looked up into the light and prayed, Lord, if you are out there and you are in my heart, let me trust you. If I was saved before this, I can't take it away. But if I wasn't, I ask you to make it so right now. You see, I drove a stake down that night that settled it forever that I was saved. Maybe you're right now where you just need to ask your, the question that I asked. Lord, and pr I pray with all my heart, trusting you to save me. If I am saved, if I was saved before, this can't take away from it. But if I wasn't, I ask you to make it so. Do you need to drive a stake down today? Do you need to make it so? A river of peace started to flow in my heart, which has continued to flow to me today. I am assured of my salvation. I have no doubts. From that day on, I cannot remember a time where I really doubted my salvation since I drove that stake down. Trust God. Trust the Word of God. Quit relying on yourself and your own emotions and your own ups and downs. Once you're saved and you've accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you are saved. But maybe you need to drive that stake down today. Now's the time. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for saving me. And thank you for those many years ago when I was a youth that you, through the wisdom of your Holy Spirit and the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, allowed me to drive a stake of faith down that has lasted to this day. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.